Okay, so in this video I'm going to show you how to build this assembly right here. Now, if you look in the textbooks, a lot of textbooks don't even have it in there, so you have to, there's different names for it. Um, some people call it an over valley because it just fills in the valley between these rafters right here and that roof over there so you're just filling it in okay so i haven't been able to find really a a book name for it so we'll just call it an over valley okay so how do we figure this over valley so first of all what are some of the boards that are called these this board right here and this one right here those are called lay boards these, of course, are your rafters, and then that, of course, would be your ridge board, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to mathematically figure out all of these rafters so we don't have to go up on the roof, okay? So first thing we need to figure out, these rafters right here that make up this uh, beam, since these two will be... Um, attached together they kind of make up a beam this this rafter right here will be the same as this rafter right here the only difference is you have to cut the the tail off at the bottom okay so this rafter and this rafter are the same all right now we need to figure out what the length of this ridge board is all right, so because we know what the first rafter is, now we can figure out what this the rafter length is. Now, using a little bit of geometry, we know that this angle down here is 63.5 degrees because I gave this a slope of 612, that's 26.5 degrees. So 90 minus 26.5, that rafter is cut at 63.5 degrees. That's, so that subtracted from 95 will give us this 26.5 this one up here is then 63.5 okay so to find the ridge board length we're going to use this equation we're going to take the total rise divided by the ridge and then we're going to take 90 minus the slope oh, that will give us our tangent okay so the numbers here will the total rise We'd have to give it a number. Well, let's say that the total rise is 10 feet. The total rise is a distance from the top of the top plate to the top of the ridge. So we'll say that's 10 feet. And we know that this angle over here is 63.5 degrees. Okay. So when we put it into our calculator, we're going to put in 10 divided by 63.5 and you have to hit the tangent button because you already have the angle and then you're going to hit equals that will give you the length of your rafter okay that will give you the right length of that rafter or excuse me the ridge board it will give me the length of the ridge board so now we have the length of the ridge board and we have the length of this okay now the next thing we need to find out are these lay boards because the rest of these all these rafters are going to sit on this lay board. You're going to nail this lay board to the roof. Okay? So we can find out how long the lay board is using the same equation. We're using different numbers. We're this time we're going to use the total run. The total run is half the distance from the outside edge of this to the outside of that, half of that is the total run. The length of the ridge, which we just figured out, if you use your calculator, and then we can find what the angle is. So we know what angle to cut these rafters at right here. Okay, so total run is this distance right here, this blue line right there length of the ridge is that distance and we're going to find the, the lay distance right there 
but we want to have we want this angle also so we know what angle to cut it at so we'll find the angle first and then we can figure out what the length of that is okay so um, if we give these things some numbers so let's say that this is let's say this is uh, I don't know 12 feet so then in your equation you would put your total run which is 12 and your length of your ridge um, figured up from that equation up there so let's do that real quick you got 10 divided by 63.5 tangent equals so that's like five feet so the length of the ridge would be five feet and we want the angle of that so for on your calculator you would be 12 divided by 5 equals second function 10 minus 1 so that would be 67.4 degrees so that angle right there would be 67.4 degrees that would make this one over here 90 minus that so that would be 70 so 22.6 so this one would be 22.6 degrees so we have both we have both of those okay now we can find the length of our lay board by using 12 length of ridge was 5 so using Pythagorean theorem 12 squared plus 5 squared equals shift square root. Oops. 12 squared plus 5 squared equals square root. So 13 feet. So then this distance would be 13 feet. Okay? So you cut that board 13 feet, 67.4 at one end, 22.6 at the other, and it would butt up right to where this corner is. This rafter here sits just inside this wall right here. Your first rafter then will sit right on the wall on that edge. So one will be off the edge, one will be right on the edge okay right there but this this board will go all the way to the edge and then it'll come all the way up here to the peak okay so all you have left then is to figure out what these lengths are um, if you use your rafter tables in the back of your uh, swamps and speed square guide you can figure out what these are um, so in the back it has a chart that says difference in length of jack rafters of various spacing. So we're going to put our rafters two feet on center and we're on a six. So that gives us two feet two and seven eighths inches. So then to figure out what this first rafter is, you would take the length of this rafter and then subtract two feet two and seven eight inches from it. That would give you the length of this rafter. Okay? And to find the next one, you just subtract off two feet two and seven eight inches until you ran out of space. Okay? So whatever this rafter length is here, subtract this off to get this one. Then subtract the getting again to get this one and if need be this one and that one okay so that right there is how you figure the boards for this we're calling it an over valley okay so you got to use these um, trig functions to find out the lengths of your rafters and then you can use Pythagorean theorem to find this third side or you can use um, you could use this equation also to find that side right there. So, 
if you don't know how to use these or um, want to practice on them, I have a video on how to use trig, uh, trig functions. So you go to my video and I'll explain how these trig functions work. Um, but that's all there is to figuring out the rafters for this over valley. And then when you nail them up, the first thing you nail up is this lay board, and then you'll nail this rafter and this rafter with the ridge board between them, and then you can put your other rafters in there. Now over here, what angles do I cut the rafters at? Well, the ridge board is going to be cut at the 63.5 degrees. So, so it's the angle. So this angle is cut on 90 minus the slope. So 90 minus the slope is 63.5. These lay rafters, again, are going to be cut on that same 63.5 degrees, but you also have to put them on a bevel. So the slope is 6 point, or 612, which is 26.5. So you would set the base of your saw at 26.5 to cut these rafters. Um, if you need more information on how to cut those and lay those out, you can look at my drawing or my video on uh, saddle and cricket rafters. I did. I showed how to lay those out and cut those in that video. Okay. So if you have any other questions, drop them down in the comments. Um, I will try to get to them as quickly as I can. And um, that's how to figure a over valley.